Happy Friday morning, viewers, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Metroid. Okay, we've got a little over half an hour of time remaining, so we should be able to squeeze this in no problem. And we're going to explore that black, mysterious region to the lower left of that map. Now you'll notice I don't have quite all of the missiles and the power bombs, so if you wish to watch the bonus episode, which I've already recorded, so I should get that up in a few days, I suppose, that one will have all of the items that I'm missing, and I'll also show off some special moves. And if you didn't get the energy tank and the two missiles up in the path above where we're going now, and you would actually come out, come out again here, uh, this would be a good time to get it. Especially now, you have the screw attack, the space jump, but it's a cinch. You get through there very easily. But you can do it as early as having the speed booster, and that's when I did it. Okay, we're gonna turn on our ice beam here for reasons you'll see in a minute. You'll also notice that I did not get that missile in Criteria, the one just above where we are now. I Don't ask me how I missed that. We'll get that in the bonus episode, but... Ooh, boy. I wonder where this leads. I just find it interesting that they would design a security device and have it so that it just opens automatically once you've killed the people that are, well, monsters that are in the statue. I, I don't really get that. Especially the presence of Fantoon. I realize that, you know, yes, it's a boss, but... It, it just always struck me as something that sort of belonged to the wrecked ship, and I, I never really saw the wrecked ship as being a space pirate kind of thing. But that could just be me. Okay, Turian, one map. And you get this data, I think, no matter what you do, so there's no, like, Turian map data room or anything. You just, it just comes, comes with it. Now, let's equip our missiles, and... Oh, yeah! So it looks like they've been cloning the Metroid, but boy, those things are tenacious. There's nothing you can do but run out of the room and then you're okay. That's good. What you need to do, just like in the last game, use your ice beam and then blow them up. I would recommend sticking with missiles. You can use a super missile and you'll usually be recompensated, but there's no easy way to get your super missiles back in this area. Okay, this was kind of stupid. Okay, not doing that. Okay, come on back. Come on, okay. Uh. So you gotta get through here slowly and carefully, because if you screw up, then you have to go all the way back to the other end of the room and go through all of them again. So, not not too much fun. I don't, I don't know if you have to go through all of them again or not. That's, that's... Because, yeah, they don't... They don't repopulate. But that's a good... That's a good question. Yeah, no, I don't think they do repopulate. But you do have you do have to defeat the ones you missed. Phew, that was close. Yeah, don't don't let them touch you or it's curtains. Oh, my God. 
That's it for the Metroids. So if you hate your ice beam being on, you could turn it off if you want. Hmm. Torizo. Made of dust. Maybe it had the energy sucked out of it. I wonder if that was supposed to be a boss. It would be interesting fighting one of those in such close quarters. Well, looks like we can't turn around. That's a steel door. Oh, hey! Okay, you're not gonna come after me too, are you? Come on, don't you remember me from SR388? I'm Sam! Ah! Get up, get up, 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 up. Ah, thank you for not killing me. So Guess the Metroid finally remembered me. That's good. I was a little worried there for a second. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of didn't. I kind of spoiled it, I suppose, by a few seconds by firing my ice beam at it. You could kind of tell that it was going to be a hostile encounter. I even tried charging my ice beam, but it d didn't work. Nothing you can do. Yeah, they must have been like pumping it full of steroids or something, because it I think got pretty big. Forget that I'm not using a single super missile instead of three regular missiles, and I forget that the eye closes. Now you don't want to save there, really, because then you're basically trapped in Turian. You can't go you can't go past the room where you encountered the Metroid larvae, I mean like the original one. That's that's as far back as you can go, so don't don't save it there. These guys, they take up a lot of missiles to take down. But you will be able to go back and reload. They don't they don't repopulate once you destroy them. In fact, you can even hack the game save if you want and have them pre-destroyed for you. So let's go back. Oh, whoops. Back we go. Missiles, energy, every little bit helps. La -de da Okay. Now back to Mother Brain. Hey. So yeah, I, I kind of got to get past you. No, nothing personal, but you're the only behind you. Appears to be the only way for me to get out of here. So you know, I'm just gonna shoot my way past here and take the Metroid larvae with me. Probably not back to series because your space pirates blew it up. Um, but yeah. Okay. So yeah, what I did there at the end, just like stand sort of on the end and angle up your missiles, that's the best way to get through that. Okay, could... Hmm. And we just start pumping in the super missiles. No better way to do this. You 
can play, like hide and seek with her, but it's best to just unload. I mean, you're probably going to have more than a row of energy tanks anyway. Away my missiles. I have to use my beam. Alright. How close are we to defeating this thing? Oh, not again. Oh, man, that was a doozy. Okay, come on, get up, Samus. Come on, come on. Oh, we still got two tanks of energy left. Plus four reserves. Come on, up, 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 up. So cheap, I can't even move. Up, 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 up. 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 No, not a gap. Wow. All right, go Metroid. Oh yeah. Suck that mother brain dry. I hope that comment isn't misinterpreted or taken out of context. Alright. Well, now we just have to touch the mother brain and she'll turn to dust. Just like all those other things, just like the chorizo, right? Oh, thanks. I could, could use a little bit of energy right about now. Yeah, oh, thank you. Oh, this is great. Oh, uh-oh. Okay, okay, get get out, get out. That's enough, that's enough. I, 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 I don't need two, I don't need two full lines of energy. I'm, I'm good, I'm good, really. Really, I'm good. No, you can, you can go anytime, anytime. Come on. Man, yeah, I was hoping he wouldn't stick around again. Oh man. What a colossal bummer. They came all this way. Hmm. Hyperbeam, I wonder what that does. Oh yeah. Well, that's more like it. Yeah, you take that, you... Mother brain. Peacefully, oh, uh oh. Bomb set. Leave this place. Wow, that's pretty cool. We can shoot down barriers. What, they're not leaving any power ups? Come on, I have, like, no missiles, no power bombs. Power ups, guys. Power-ups or refills. Refills be more accurate. Out of my way, guys. Now, if you were to equip yourself with the hyper beam like, through hacking the game, it doesn't I don't think it works the way it's supposed to. Like you don't so, like, it's something you might want to try, but it's not something you're going to be able to play through the game with. At least that's my understanding. You know, it might be worth trying on an emulator, but uh, I think I tried some hacks with the Game Genie on an actual Super Nintendo, and I wasn't too impressed with the results. Oh boy, got lava coming up here. Oh, 
Let's see if we can shortcut through here and use the speed boost to get up. And, oh, well, that's blocked off too. Okay. Come on, come on. Now, I would advise staying in the middle as you go up. Even though your jumps are shorter, you have less to lose if you make a mistake. If you're on the outside, you can fall way, 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 way down. That's not very much fun. And we haven't got that much time. So we're safe from the rising lava. Oh hey, I wonder if I can go and get that missile that I missed. That would be nice, then I'd, you know, have some missiles. Five, you know, it's better than zero. Well, let's see what's down here. Well, that's cool, I can get in this door. Well, that's a little different. Oh cool, another one. Alright, maybe Torizo left an apology for me. Oh hey! Oh hey guys! Yeah, thanks for the help! Enjoy your trip! Safe journey! Alright, we're back on board the ship! And if you're curious, all the other all the other doors are grayed out, even the ones that are hidden. So. Twenty minutes to spare. All right. Now that red streak you saw departing the planet—that was the ship of the critters that helped us out. So we'll just sit back and enjoy the rock and ending theme here. And oh yeah, I also wanted to mention if you let yourself get killed if the time runs out. You don't get any animation of the planet blowing up, but you not leaving. Which is kind of lame, because back in the series station, if you didn't leave, you still got an animation. But here, uh, the countdown goes to zero, just the screen fades to black, and you get the same game over screen, find the Metroid larvae. I, I find that kind of funny, because we already found the Metroid larvae, and Metroid larvae already, you know, I'm going to say sacrificed itself to save me, but I don't know if that sacrifice was really necessary. I, I think, I don't know, I, I, that sort of always bugs me about this ending. Also, the, the whole thing about the planet blowing up, like, it takes a lot of energy to destroy a planet. If you've got that much stuff stockpiled just for a self-destruct sequence in the event that you know, you get defeated and you need revenge from beyond the grave. I mean, you could like totally take over the galaxy or the entire known universe. Assuming transportation isn't an issue with that kind of weaponry. I mean, that, that's just, that's just insane. Like, you know, they, they, that they resort, they have that kind of stuff and they, res they need to resort to piracy. I mean, they're not some aliens. You know, I, I mean, I got nothing against Somalia, but, you know, they're not... These guys aren't poor. They got a lot of... They got a lot of technological kick-butt stuff. You know, they should set up their own despotic military regime. You know, and then other people will be pirating their vessels. Actually, but, you know, probably not.
I remember my cousin saw this and he went up and kissed the towel vision. We were poor and deprived in those days. Tally of collected objects. Great, great, great. And you know, if you're a francophone, you're supposed to be able to translate. See you next mission on your own. Okay, well that will be all for today's episode of Let's Play Super Metroid, and really I guess all for the series, but next time we'll be looking at the stuff I missed, we're going to bring that total up to 100, and we're going to show off some special moves. Take care until then.